Reported Speech. For more information, look in your textbook on page 261 at chart 12.7. Let's talk briefly about reported speech versus quoted speech. As you'll remember, when we're using quoted speech, we are quoting the exact words of the speaker. Reported speech, not necessarily the exact words. We might be more paraphrasing or summarizing what the person says. Reported speech is much more common in spoken English. You don't need to worry so much about punctuation here. Quoted speech is much more common in written English. Often reported speech is formed in sentences like, he said that, she told me that, and you have a noun clause. So you'll need to use noun clauses to make reported speech. Reported speech is also often in the past tense. Not always. There are plenty of examples of reported speech in the present tense and future tense, but it's often in the past tense, obviously, because we're often talking about what someone said in the past. Because of that, our sentences begin with past tense, he said, she told, and even in the noun clause, we want to use past tenses as much as possible. Let's look at our examples. Let's begin with present tenses. We have three present tenses, simple present, present progressive, and present perfect. Each of these is going to be changed into the corresponding past tense. So simple present in reported speech becomes simple past. Present progressive in reported speech becomes past progressive. And present perfect in reported speech becomes past perfect. Makes sense, right? Pretty easy. So I read the newspaper on Sunday in quoted speech becomes, she said that she read the newspaper on Sunday. So she said that, that's the beginning of our sentence. And then the noun clause, she read the newspaper on Sunday. So we change to simple past tense. I am reading the newspaper in quoted speech. Again, she said that. We change am reading into past progressive. She was reading the newspaper. I have read the newspaper. She said that. She had read the newspaper. Past perfect. Now when we use reported speech with past tenses, we have our three past tenses, simple past, past progressive, and past perfect. Also relatively simple. Simple past changes to past perfect in reported speech. Past progressive changes to past perfect progressive, and past perfect is easy because it doesn't change at all in reported speech. So with each of these tenses, as you can see, what we're doing is, because they're already in the past, we're adding a perfect tense to make them even more in the past. It was easy with the present tenses to put them in the past because we just changed them from present to past. But past tenses are already in the past, so that's why we're adding the idea of something perfect so that it can be even more in the past. For instance, I read the newspaper yesterday in quoted speech becomes, she said that she had read the newspaper yesterday. I was reading the newspaper when you called becomes, she said that she had been reading the newspaper when I called. I had read the newspaper before I went to class, no change. She said that she had read the newspaper before she went to class. We also use reported speech with modals. And so you need to learn how modals change when we put them in the past. If it's be going to, it's pretty simple. Instead of am, is, or are going to, you use was or were going to. So I am going to read the newspaper becomes she said that she was going to read the newspaper. Will in the past is would. So, I will read the newspaper becomes she said that she would read the newspaper. Can in the past is could. So, I can read the newspaper. She said that she could read the newspaper. May in the past is might. And must and have to in the past are had to. Pretty simple. You just have to memorize all of this so that you remember what the past forms are. There are a few exceptions, however. There are certain modals, certain verbs, certain cases where there's no change. 
And um, it can get a little tricky. Exceptions are where reported speech definitely gets a little confusing. So let's go over these exceptions now. The modal should, ought to, and might don't change in reported speech. So if the person says, I should read the newspaper, in reported speech it stays exactly the same. She said that she should read the newspaper. Very easy. Same with ought to and might. Another exception. If you're talking about something that someone just said, I mean literally not very long ago in the very near past, maybe five seconds ago, five minutes ago, very, very soon in the past, then you don't make any change. So she said, I am reading the newspaper. And another person says, what did she just say? Which she literally just said five seconds ago. The reported speech form would be, she said that she's reading the newspaper. So notice how I take the present progressive. And even in reported speech, I keep it present progressive. I don't change it to past progressive because I'm telling you what she just said. It's so recent that there's no reason to change it to the past. Also, if you're talking about something that is a general truth, it is always true, then you don't need to change it from simple present into simple past. For instance, Ashley is a great teacher. That is always true. That never changes. So we can just say, she said that Ashley is a great teacher, because it's always true. When the reporting verb and remember, the reporting verb is things like, she said, he told me, they mentioned. These are reporting verbs. Like I said, they're usually in the simple past. Said, told, mentioned. Okay, um, But they're not always in the past. And when they're not in the past, then you don't make any change. So if the sentence is, I read the newspaper every day, and the reporting verb is in the simple present, she says, instead of she said, then I can just keep it in the simple present. She says that she reads the newspaper every day. Also, when I use an imperative. When you use an imperative, there's a few changes that you have to make. Remember imperatives? This is when I tell you what to do. Open the door. Do your homework. Be a good person. Work hard any kind of sentence that begins with a verb because I'm telling you what to do. First thing is, in reported speech, I'm going to use tell instead of say. So I'm not going to say he said, but I'm going to say he told me. And then I'm going to use the infinitive instead of using any kind of tense. So if the quoted speech is read the newspaper, then the reported speech would be she told me to read the newspaper. So do you see the changes that were made? Instead of she said that, it's she told me. And instead of that, I, blah, 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 it's just to read. So I don't need to figure out what tense to use. I just use the infinitive here. Now it's your turn. Read the following sentences and turn them into reported speech. Let's look at the answers. For the first one, you must do your homework. When we put that in reported speech, he told me that I had to do my homework. The next sentence, I will meet you there. He said he would meet me there. Notice that I didn't include that. That, as we learned before, is optional. You don't have to include it in reported speech doesn't matter. You can leave it out if you want to. So in the previous sentence, I could say, he told me I had to do my homework, or he told me that I had to do my homework. He said he would meet me there. He said that he would meet me there. They're both correct. For the next one, I was listening to the radio becomes, she mentioned that she had been listening to the radio. And finally, go to sleep, which is an imperative, becomes, she told me to go to sleep. 
For more practice, do exercise 37 on page 262.